Hello everybody, my name is Laura Brown. I am a student at Regent University. I am majoring in communication, and this is my speech about a beloved African-American tradition, jumping the broom. I want to give you some background information and some current context so that you will be able to understand why this is a, such a beloved tradition in the African-American community. All right, I'm gonna release my family so they can go and face the other way, and they can also, uh, they can also benefit from this information as well. Between the 1840s, 1850s, during slavery time, slaves were not permitted to legally wed, yet they had the desire to continue their families and have a, a natural bond between the two. Back in, in, in slavery times, what happened was when the slaves were taken from Africa, that broke up the families that were already established. So once they reached the shores of America, families had to be reestablished and new families had to be, had to be made. But the, the slave owners were not willing to allow the slaves to get married. So the slaves had to come up with a way where they could get married because they were rooted and grounded in faith and they wanted to be legally married. So they wanted to be married. So they had to come up with a way to do this. And the way that they devised was they would get married by candlelight late at night and they would use a broom at the end of the ceremony. And at the end of the ceremony, what they would do is they would jump over the broom and jumping over the broom symbolized that they were now legally married and they were, um, they were ready to start and form their new families. So what was actually started out of necessity for survival and, 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 and it was a tradition of survival has now become a beloved contemporary tradition in the African-American um, tradition today. One of the reasons that it was more popular is because there was a movie in the, 19, the like 1976, 1977. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may have watched it. It was the movie called Roots. And Roots traced back Alex Haley's ancestry all the way back to Africa and brought it up to modern times. And in Roots, Roots, they showed the fam, they showed the marriages of the slaves and the jumping of the broom. Well, African Americans really are endeared. They endeared, that movie endeared themselves into the African Americans today, contemporary African Americans. And we began to take on that tradition. I remember probably about about probably in 1980, 78, 80, I attended my first wedding where I saw the tradition. And the guests, the, the, the wedding guests, the wedding party, the bride and the groom, at that particular wedding, they all wore um, African garb or African dress. And what they did was they went through the typical ceremony, and at the end of the ceremony, I saw them, I witnessed them jumping the broom, and I had never seen that before in a contemporary wedding. After that, after that, I attended many more weddings where the ceremony included the jumping on the broom, and it was just moving each and every time. So it is, it is a tradition that is beloved by us, even though it was born out of necessity, now it is beloved by African Americans. In the beginning, in the beginning, families were torn apart and families wanted normalcy. They wanted to establish new bonds and because they wanted to establish the new bonds, they came up with the tradition of jumping the broom by candlelight. Well, not really candlelight, by a fire at night during secrecy time. And so now the tradition has become ingrained in who we are. It is no longer for secrecy, it is no longer for survival, but right now is that we're establishing, we establish a link to our past. You know, there are many ethnicities, many cultures that they have traditions that establish them to their past. And this is one of the traditions that establishes African Americans to their strong past. We want to keep the tradition alive. We want to pass the stories on to our children 
and our children's children so that they would know the strength of their ancestors. They would know that their ancestors valued family. They valued uh, being married. They valued having their children in a sacred bond. They value that and we value that also today and we want to make that known. Now today you won't see like this broom. I, I chose this broom on purpose because it's rough. There's nothing good about it. It's not pretty or anything like that. And in the past, that's the way the brooms were. They were what they had. They were twigs uh, woven together, you know, with some kind of handle put together just so that they can sweep the, the dust and the dirt from their homes and keep it tidy and whatever. But these days, if you go to a contemporary wedding, you're more than likely to see a beautiful decorated uh, custom broom that they'll place before the bride and groom, after they're pronounced, now that you're a man and wife, then they would turn around and they would jump the broom. And so I just needed you to know, and I wanted you to know, and I wanted to inform you of a beautiful African American tradition. I wanted you to know that it was that it was uh, established in slavery times as a way of survival and secrecy, and to keep the family going. And now is rooted and grounded in a proud tradition, a proud tradition of African Americans loving marriage, loving families, and keeping the the stories and the traditions alive for their children's children. Well, again, I'm Laura Brown, and I thank you for listening to my, my speech, and it is my hope that you've learned something helpful today.